problem number four. Four states. Let f of x equal 1 over x minus 1. And let g of x equal 2x over x plus 1. Now they want us to find g of f of x and its domain. So first let's deal with g of f of x. So when I see this, this is also the same as g of f of x. So that means f of x is replacing x in g. So I'm plug f of x into g. So when I do that, I plug it in every time I see x, which is in this place and this place. So I now have g of f is going to equal 2 times 1 over x minus 1 over, and now I plug it in again, I have 1 over x minus 1 plus 1. So this looks a little intimidating at first, but we're just going to take the numerator and the denominator separately, and we'll be good. So for the numerator, I can distribute by 2. So this is going to be 2 over x minus 1. And this will all be divided. Now for here, I want to get a common denominator. x minus 1 is going to be my common denominator. So this is the same as 1 over 1 times it by x minus 1 over x minus 1. And when I do that, I'm going to have 1 plus x minus 1 all over x minus 1. So because I now have a common denominator, I can add my numerators. Now I'm going to rewrite this as 2 over x minus 1 divided by, now my 1's are going to cancel, or I'll show you here, 1 plus x minus 1 over x minus 1. So from here you can see my 1's will cancel, and I'm going to flip the second fraction and multiply. So I have 2 over x minus 1 times x minus 1 over x. Now because I am multiplying, my x minus 1's cancel, and I'm just left with 2 over x. So that's half the problem. Now they also wanted us to find the domain. So the domain of the g of f is only going to be when x cannot be 0 because I can't divide by 0 or that's undefined. So this one's going to be x cannot equal 0. Now I also have to consider the domain of f of x because that is what I plugged into the g of x. So the domain of f of x is going to be when x cannot be 1, because when x is 1, my denominator is 0. Okay, so in your answers, they want you to write these regular as an interval, and to do that, you can use the number line test. We have the value of 0, and we have the value of 1. Now you would plug values into this equation, and as we can see, they are all going to work, right? So these all work. So your answer is going to be, I'm sorry, let me grab my other paper. going to be, I'll write it over here. This is going to be your g of x. And your domain will be from negative infinity to 0, union 0 to 1, union 1 to infinity. And this is answer D. And this is problem 